start our talk about differential mode half circuits uh, by a little review of uh, what the common mode half circuit was about. Common mode half circuit, remember we're using this with pure common mode signals. Okay, we can do this with differential mode signals. First we'll look at common mode signals. Common mode, our inputs are tied together. Okay, and then when our input goes up and down, then we have a uh, uh, a whole lot of symmetry going on in here. What really helps with our common mode half circuit is that from here down, for an NPN uh, differential pair, uh, is uh, there's some symmetry uh, in the bottom. The two collector resistors don't need to be the same, although our common mode half circuits then will have different values up here in the collector and potentially uh, different values here, but usually that's not the case. We usually want symmetry, so uh, we're going to go with the symmetry. Uh, another note here is is uh, this current source here. This is an ideal current source, but it's in parallel with this resistor. Really what we're saying, this is just a, uh, a view of this circuit, that this is really uh, I tail. We're not going to use Ohm's law for DC. Uh, I'll put this for AC uh, for this circuit. You remember that ideal current sources turn into an open circuit when uh, their value is uh, set to zero. This is a DC, uh, uh, DC current source. It's set to zero, which means an open circuit. What's left here is the output resistance Uh, the output resistance of the current source, right? Which uh, which they all do. It's not uh, infinite. If it was infinite, it wouldn't uh, wouldn't be here. But this is a real source. When we split this up, remember that we need to have uh, the same current going through both of these transistors. We have current. Uh, this is IC. I think it was blue in the original. Okay. I need to have this to be. Uh, the same current about IC or IC plus the base current coming in for the emitter current and if we can split this split this current source in half we can uh, draw it like this well because of KCL we have I tail over 2 I tail over 2 KCL says the currents coming in uh, need to total I tail because they originally did so we can split this into two current sources with half of the current each Okay, remember we also have this resistor here. Uh, when we have resistors that are in parallel, uh, we need to split this uh, symmetrically. If we make uh, each of these to be double the resistance, uh, we call this R tail sometimes, uh, they'll be double. When they're combined in parallel again, we end up with one half of two, which is back to our original RE. Now once we have this common mode half circuit, we can just draw a dotted line, this is the half circuit uh, part, we just cut it in half and then we just end up with a uh, circuit that is familiar to us all. Uh, 2RE and RC uh, plus voltage, minus voltage, we can just do the symbolic VCM. So VCM, oop, I move this up, so VCM is our input Remember, this is uh, going up and down. It has a DC value also. Many times this is our output. Out A, out B, uh, if we're looking at the left side or the right side. Okay, this is now just a common emitter amplifier. Remember that this value, this, I should have done that in blue, this value is I tail over 2 this is AC uh, AC resistance only. Please don't analyze this RE uh, in this setup since we have the current source as uh, to find the DC value of the collect of the emitter voltage here. Watch out for that.